Hello and welcome to another episode of Crazy About Fly Fishing. Today we're going to be talking about the knots, rigs and flies I use for saltwater fly fishing in Auckland. So let's talk about flies. I carry two boxes with me, both CNF design. I've had these for years. Uh, the key with these boxes is make sure they don't get wet. They are not particularly waterproof. And if you get saltwater fly boxes wet and you don't dry them out very quickly and clean them up, things rust very badly. So that's box number one there. That's got the majority of the flies I use all the time in it. And then I've got box number two, which has just got a few bigger flies in, which I'll go through in a moment. Now in the Iraqi Gulf, I pretty much target kingfish, snapper and kawai. For kingfish, I tend to use uh, either popper flies or piper flies. So in the past, I've been using these homemade uh, popper type things. They've been really working really well. I've just made them out of old packaging foam, just cut to shape and then glued onto the hook with a bit of a tail. Worked really well. But recently I've been shown uh, these flies and how to tie proper crease flies by Dan Burt from our uh, local salt, salt fly club. And I haven't fished these yet, but I'm definitely gonna be trying them. This is one I tied myself. And uh, this is one of Dan's ones that he actually gave to me as well. Brilliant flies, much stronger than what I tie. Uh, the ones that I tied before, these ones tend to just fall apart uh, as soon as a, a kingfish grabs it, the glue comes undone and that's the end of that fly. So I mean that's my go-to poppers for kingfish and the other flies I use for kingfish is essentially most of the time if I'm not accidentally catching them on anchovy patterns, I'm just using piper flies. So this is a good one. There we go. That's a Piper fly, this is a fairly big one. All these are tied myself. I tie them with SF blend mainly. And sometimes I'm, I do weighted versions as well. There's a, a weighted version. Uh, so yeah, Piper flies and poppers for kingfish mainly, especially when I'm targeting off the markers. When I'm just generally fishing for kawai or for snapper or also sometimes kingfish, I very often fish with an anchovy pattern. That's just pretty much what's around most of the time in, in the Auraki Gulf. Uh, little patterns like this work really well. Um, you can see that one's well used. And I've got a variety, I tie these as well. That one's also well, well used. Small white clouses work as well, like that. Just a white clouser, this is actually a fairly big one. Even smaller than that. Um, I'll go with small chartreuse and white clouses as well. Any sort of small white bait fish pattern. Surf candies work well as well. I don't have any of those. Um, brilliant patterns. Anything that imitates an anchovy is, is just essential in Auckland, uh, especially during the summer months when they're around. Uh, you can catch, especially kawai, and often I catch kingfish on those as well. Uh, and I've covered a bunch of snapper on them. As soon as you get them deeper down, uh, if you take something like this, which and you get it with a bit of dumbbell eyes and you get that down deep, the snapper will get that as well. That's essentially, you know, the main pattern I fish with is an anchovy pattern. When I'm just targeting snapper, these sort of shrimpy things have been working very well. I've got a video about how to tie these. This is sort of a, a variation of a mantis shrimp pattern. And uh, yeah, it's been working very well for me on snapper in the Iraqi Gulf. Smaller versions as well, if you're going into the harbors, very effective. Get that down deep on the bottom and uh, you're in for a treat. The snapper love these little things. That's pretty much the mainstay of my flies. I don't tie a great variety and I don't try a whole bunch of different patterns. These all catch fish, enough fish that, uh, that I'm quite happy anyway. So let's move on. Okay, so let's talk about rigs. I pretty much use a single fly all the time and I use about nine foot of leader material to my fly line or to a tapered leader. And I'll explain the tapered one in a second. Basically, this is just 20 pound nylon. Uh, you can go 18, you can go 20, you can go 25. I generally keep it in that 18 to 25 range. On the lighter end, if I'm fishing for car and snapper, and on the heavier end, if I'm gonna be fishing for kingfish or maybe even large snapper around the rocks, go to 2025. And that's pretty much it. I don't do anything complex. Uh, 
and I'll show you the knots that I use. So to attach my fly to my leader material, I use a lefties loop knot. Very simple to tie, just look up a few videos. Very effective and quite strong. What it does is it gives your fly extra movement. So that's the only knot I use for attaching my flies. You can use a uni knot, but that will just lock the fly up and limit the movement. Now, to attach my leader to my fly line or tapered leader, I use a bimini twist. It creates a nice loop and it gives a little bit of extra cushioning with a bit of stretch there. Very strong knot, very effective. I'll use a loop to loop connection to attach that to either my fly line loop or I will uh, attach it to a tapered leader, which I'll show you in a second. So for tapered leaders, I don't use shop built ones. What I have on most of my fly lines permanently is a hand tied furled leader of about 80 centimeters to a meter. These I tie in slightly heavier nylon, generally about 30 pound. The hand furled leaders, and there's plenty of videos on the internet to show you how you tie those. They just add a little bit of shock absorbance and they help turn over your bigger flies, especially when it comes to poppers, uh, this helps turn over those flies. Uh, you can also use shopboard tapered leaders as well, that's another option, and then you'd probably just use a, a three-turn surgeon's knot or something to attach your uh, leader material to your, tapered fly, to your tapered leader. And that's pretty much that. For the connection to the fly line, whether it's my straight uh, leader material that's going onto here or this tapered leader, I use a loop-to-loop -loop connection, most fly lines have got a welded loop in them these days. If they don't, I tend to add a 50 pound uh, braided, uh, braided mono loop and that works very well and it's very strong. So if you do it correctly, of course. So that's pretty much that, that's the rig there. Let's do a quick recap. For flies, I use popper and piper flies for kingfish off the markers. I use anchovy patterns for kingfish and kawai and surface schools and I use shrimp patterns fish deep for snapper over sandy or muddy bottoms. The fly I attach by using a lefties loop connection to my nine foot leader material that is generally 20 or, uh, 18 to 25 pound nylon. At the end of that, I have a bimini twist which forms a loop that I use as a loop to loop connection either directly to my fly line or to a tapered full leader that I leave permanently on some of my lines. That's pretty much it. That's the setup that I use for saltwater fly fishing in Auckland and New Zealand. If you like these videos and you like this information, please click the subscribe button so you can see more. I post uh, information videos every week. And then uh, watch some of the videos that are coming up on screen now to see any more inf information that you might want. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.